got a call for this true not cooling. I see the plug. Look, there's a note on here. Would Dave buy a something freezer? Huh. No, I probably wouldn't. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh, it's checking the stats clicking, so it's making contact. So, went in there and was bullshitting, and uh, the evaporator fan was kind of stuck, and we bumped it and got it running. I saw the condenser's dirty, and we got to see if there's any gas in that thing. Clean that condenser for sure. And, oh, he told me what the note said. The note said there's, they could buy some used freezer that was made in turkey uh, i told him this i don't know if you can get parts for it if it was to get goofy they're gonna look into it i guess but his note asked would dave buy it and i told him no dave dave would not buy it i'm not gonna grab a gauge yet let's grab some gloves All right, plugged her in, got her going. Pulled right down the 35. I'm gonna see where it cuts back in at. Um, we know that this was stalled, but the uh, that fan could have been stalled from it being unplugged. 
I don't know why it got hot the other day. So, I gotta keep digging, keep digging on this one. From the discharge temperature and the liquid line temperature, it doesn't seem to be low on charge. So I'm gonna see how the thermostat's behaving. So the thermostat's working correctly. It's uh, pulling down to about 35, cutting in at 41. So I went ahead and got the coil good and clean. I hit up the neighbor too. Maybe she's getting all cleaned up. I gotta rinse her out. This one here is a stickler. All right, I sat there and watched that thing. It pulled down to like 28, 27 degrees. So, <clears throat> even though my discharge temperature looked good, it's still a weird way to um, to try and check the unit without gauging up. I had to cut the stub off, and I'm gonna have to sweat in a fitting. So, you have to excuse me there. I got, um, Man, my allergies are going. My nose is all stuffed up. I was sneezing. Um, let me grab the torch. Torch rig here. Oh, and I need a tubing cutter. Oh, tubing cutter and a torch. off of uh, Amazon. I'll try to get a better picture. Who's back on the scene? The Navac 2 CFM battery operated vacuum pump. How handy is that, huh? Just pulling it through the gauges. I did not change the dryer out. This is just this is just for exploratory surgery. Watch the thing run. First time was good, second time would not cut out. 
and the way the evaporator sounded to me, it had to sound like it's low on charge. The only way I could check that is either put a bullet valve on there or just go ahead and put a fitting on there. So I got a fitting sweated in and we'll pull a quick little vacuum on here and then we'll weigh in the, the proper charge on this one. I think it's 12 ounces. Yeah, 12 ounces charge. And we're gonna see how this thing operates. And that's where I'm at. I got the gas way in. With the factory charge it looks a little low but i think it's i think it's cooling pretty good So that one there basically was throwing me for a loop for a minute. And then we realized it's low on gas. Got a fitting in it. Did a little gas and go, a little quick little leak check. And it's a lot happier now. Um, you know, <clears throat> just polishing turds is about all you can do. These poor, these poor little businesses are struggling so bad now. Yeah. Uh, Look at this, empty. Just like, oh, terrible. All right, well, that's it for today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Click, click, click. Hit the like button if you could. And if you 
hit the bell, you'll get notifications of my next video. Oh, let's get some more of that. Let's get some more of that sunset. Right here, right around the corner. Bam! Oh, mama mia, look at that. Oh. That's all gonna come to an end starting tomorrow. We're gonna have rain for like a week. We're finally gonna get winter next week. And I will absolutely get some of that action in the videos too. But we had a nice run here of the great weather. Thank you.